If a grand's for a dance, what's the matrimony? Two car lots, 20 bags of 40, keep your feet. I figured you were busy. So I'll, I'll be real quick. First, I need to ask your permission. Can I record this call? Um, uh, okay, good. Because the reason why is um, I got some great news. Nothing bad. Um, the violin part that you have, um, and this is part of a video I'm doing for YouTube. That's the reason why I asked. I didn't want to um, do it without your permission. But um, the, the violin part that you have that goes boom, 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 boom. It's kind of, um, it can be way better. So I want you to hear, uh, I want you to hear upgraded version that I'm playing by hand. But this is your version right here. There's a little bit of what they call harmonics in there. So you can hear like another note in there. That, that, yeah, that's got to come out because it's going to wreck your track in the long run. But um, so so here's what I want to do. I, I duplicated it. I'm gonna go ahead and take yours out, and I'll play what I play. Uh, I'm playing this on the Korg track. Now. now that's a simple version, but I'm gonna jazz it up even better. I'm gonna make it even hotter than that. Watch, watch what I do. So I'm gonna do kind of like a Scott Storch kind of deal. We're gonna hit it with one note, so, and then we'll hit a chord. So it'll be like. Right? That's nice, right? Now listen to it with your track. Uh, and then I got one other suggestion for you. Hold on. Keep your fans real, man. Rock wedding bands. And if a grand's for a dance, what's the matrimony? Two car lots, 20 bags of 40. Keep your fans real, man. Rock wedding bands. And if a grand's for a dance, what's the matrimony? See. Two car lots. It just steps to product. Yeah, steps to production. I'm going to do that for you free of charge for allowing me to use this as a little instruction um, on, on the other thing. Now, the other thing, here's this is a long-term suggestion. Okay, so your your song, anybody who listens to the song can recognize it's a positive song. It's trying to get people to think differently and so forth. So, But you're, you're laying that over a minor track, and this is a little, <laughs> a little wisdom. It's when you, when you have a positive message, Try putting it under over a more of a major uh, melody uh, because it have more impact. So, in other words, so you got a dark melody. It's in the key of G minor. Now that's perfect if you're talking about run up a murka brother. <laughs> you know, hurt a brother. You know. But now, if you're talking about something positive, you might want to go with a more um, a more major sound. So it'd be more like. It will be it will be more coherent because the message and the music will be uh, in tune with each other. Now, it, now listen to listen how that sounds under your rap, and I'm gonna go ahead and play that and then play that melody I just played. Here we go. Keep your fans real, man. Rock wedding bands, and if a grand's for a dance, what's the matrimony? Two car lots, twenty bags of forty. Keep your fans real, man. Rock wedding bands, and if a grand's for a dance, what's the matrimony? Two yep. car lots, twenty bags of forty. See, you see how it brightens up everything, and it, it, it then it marries up with your message a lot better. So what it does when you have, and that happens a lot, a lot of um, people who uh, are just, I don't want to, you know, say amateurs, but just people starting out, they don't realize the power of uh, chords and how they affect the message in the music. Um, so, you know, a lot of times people are out here stabbing in the dark trying to find a hit. But uh, the people that know how to make hits, trust me, they know exactly what chords and keys to to put their songs in so it can have that impact. So I just want to, again, free advice. Yeah, yeah, free advice. But, you know, it's, it's hot. Um, we just need to beef up the sounds of some of your samples. We need to get more professional sounds in there, including the, like the, I put my strings in there versus the ones that you have. And, um, and then you'll get a better sound. But just for future, that's like a little nugget if you want to think about that. And if you have any um, questions, you know, I'm, I'm actually going to add, do what's called an upgrade service for people who want me to add production work to their production. You know, I'll add that on to that. Um, but again, this is free of charge. I just want to make sure that you get the best sound that you can possibly get.
and that's it my pleasure man so I'll go ahead and swipe swipe exactly what you did maybe just a little bit upgrade with some chords in there um, I'll let you hear it um, before you know approve it first and then then we'll go on to um, finish the mix and then and then on to the master uh, okay brother all right I'll talk to you soon all right peace yep